a man on a mission. Philip Bo Hammer is a cycling pro, now taking on 3,000 miles in the race across America, all to raise funds and awareness for the American Lung Association. Okay, so the race begins this week in Oceanside, California, before making its way through the Mojave Desert, through the Rocky Mountains, and ending at the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. But first, Bo joins us here on Spotlight ahead of his big trip. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Super so exciting. We're so excited you're here. You're flying out to California <laughs> tomorrow for this race. Yep. Can you explain the extent of this race and how it works? It's super complicated. So we're an eight-person relay team. Yeah. We're dividing oh. up into two four-person teams, Shake and Bake. Um, ah, <laughs> <cute>. <laughs> um, so I'm on Team Shake. Uh, we're starting. And uh, we'll, each four-person team is on a 12-hour shift. And so so Bake will have ridden ahead to wait for us to show up. And so during our 12-hour shift, uh, the first rider rides for 20 minutes, oh. and then they catch up with the next rider who takes off. So it's 20 minutes on, 60 minutes off. So you're riding as fast as we can for 20 minutes because it's a race. We want to get across the country as fast as we can. So 12 hours later, we catch up with Team Bake. They mm -hmm. take off. We shower, eat, oh. race ahead, get some sleep, and wait for them to show up, and we do it all over again. I mean, is there an RV for you to do all this on? Like, so it's we're, gotta we're be... going from hotel to hotel. Okay. Um, and we have a van with a uh, trailer with our bikes, uh, the other okay. racers, a uh, follow vehicle for the racer who's on the road, another van for the other team that is ahead. So, yeah, five or six vehicles, 15 crew, eight uh -huh. racers. Uh, yeah. And you're co-captain. This yes. means you have more responsibility. Well, <laughs> right? yeah. She's saying, don't mess up, Bo. <laughs> it's more like show up on time. And, <laughs> yeah. is, you're a cycler, but this is the first time you've done something of this magnitude. Why did you decide, or have you been trying to do this for a while? Um, I've always had in the back of my mind, my cousin, who's my, the other co-captain, uh, his wife, who's my first cousin actually, she's a lung cancer survivor. Uh. Um, so this, they've been raising a lot of money for the American Lung Association for a long time through cycling events, but never anything of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. um, so he called me up almost two years ago and said, hey, let's, let's do this. Um, and he recruited me, we got some other friends to join the team, and we set ourselves a goal to raise a quarter million dollars wow. for the American Lung Association. And we're getting there, we're about $230,000 oh. along the way. Okay, because so. you've already made 150, is that right? No, we've raised $230,000. Uh, yeah. You've $230, raised yeah. that much? Yes. Yeah. So no, we're not that great with math. Sorry yeah, about like that. carry the yeah, one, yeah, divide yeah. by four, got yeah, it. Right. But yeah. I mean, this is so incredible. I mean, here, here's the thing. Like Sarah was asking you earlier, you've mm -hmm. never done something like this before. You're a cycler, but a cyclist, but you're not, you know, a professional ever. No. You've never been a professional before. No. Um, so how do, how have you been like training? working up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. training so, for this. I mean. I've been cycling for 15, 20 years um, pretty seriously, but recreationally with, with groups. And we like to ride fast and we like to ride far. Mm -hmm. But like the most I've ever done in a single day is maybe 100 miles. Um, and that would be a stretch. Whoa. That's exaggerating. Okay. Um, but so the training has been a combination of really training for strength, like putting okay. a lot of power into the pedals and endurance. Um, and I've had a coach and uh, put in about 700 hours over the last almost two years of doing this. Wow. 12,000 miles on my bike. Um, oh. How are you going to celebrate when you hit uh, New Jersey? Uh, <laughs> a big well, bowl it's of Atlantic, pasta. It's yeah. Atlantic City, come on. Yeah, a little gambling? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'll probably just uh, jump in the ocean. Oh um, my gosh. It's from the Pacific to the Atlantic, so that's yeah. pretty cool, riding across 13 states. Yeah. Um, in seven or eight days. I mean, we'll be done on Saturday the 22nd. That's our plan. And so. all for an amazing yes, cause. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And yeah, and um, for your cousin, you said that was kind of what jump started She's you. She's a lung cancer of... survivor. And then um, about six months ago, we learned that another one of our cousins just got diagnosed gotcha. with like stage three lung cancer. So oh, wow. this is super real and personal for our team. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually three family members on the team. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's, it's driving us. Well, talk about inspiration. Thank you so much for being with us, Bo. To support the cause or find more information, just head to poweredbylungs.fundraise.org. You can follow the link on your screen to find Bo or find uh, them also on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks so much, Bo. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.